Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. This is my Glock 19. But this video is actually about the Glock 17 that goes a little bit longer there, a little bit longer there. And the question is, who would even buy a Glock 17 in today's market when there are so many other handguns out there of the same size for, in many cases, less money and more features? And people say, well, you're a Glock hater. You always have been and always will be. Well, that's completely false. I own several Glocks now, and I would bet, in most cases, those who are watching this video, I have owned more Glocks than they have throughout the years. Not all, guys. I tell you right now, some, some have every Glock available, and they love them. But there are others, we have to acknowledge, that are even a little better for less money. Let's start with this one here. This is the new CZ. P09F Nocturne. You look at this at the four and a half inch barrel, 19 round mags, okay, two more rounds in the magazine, nicer grip texture, more ergonomically pleasing than a Glock 17. This is hammer fired, okay, so we know that. This one is the only one I'm going to show that is hammer fired, but I think it's a better choice. You look at the slide serrations, the, the, the uh, decocker, it's optic ready. You don't have to get an MOS version. It comes optic ready. I have a Vortex Defender CCW on there. Excellent. Luminescent sights. A full pick rail. Excellent trigger that many people know and love. CZ is for that trigger. The CZ P09F Nocturne, which is the larger F, full size, has an MSRP of 549 I would buy this over Glock 17 10 times out of 10. We have to acknowledge there are better handguns out there. And in my estimation, this is one of them. And it really shows up at the range. When you take this to the range, it's CZ all day long. And there is no learning curve. There's no wanky grip angle or anything like that. It's just a better all-around handgun for less money, and that is my first example of why this is better than a Glock 17. Next up is the Springfield Armory Echelon. This handgun was built from the ground up. It is incredibly loaded with features. It's less money than a, well, it's right around the same cost as a Glock 17 MOS Gen 5. Comes with a 20 and 17 round magazine. All those serrations, a Optic ready handgun, they have VIS, variable interface system, a multitude of optics can be installed on this handgun. Excellent grip texturing throughout, the trigger is incredible, barrel length the same as a Glock 17, love the trigger, so nice, easier to disassemble, a tritium front night, uh, night sight there, once again, excellent serrations. Easy to operate, easy to disassemble, incredibly a fine shooter. This, and it's modular, it is ambidextrous. It, it, it's a whole package for right around the same price. Well, what's the price? $679. You look at a Gen 5 Glock 17 MOS, you're looking at right around the same price. Maybe a few bucks cheaper with the Glock, but there, there again, you have to redo everything. You have to, you have to put a, your trigger on there. You have to go after the aftermarket support to make it what you want it to be as where this comes out of the case ready to go in my opinion i haven't done a thing to it and i love it and over time you will see more aftermarket support but probably never to the degree that you will see a glock aftermarket support and the reason being is it doesn't need that much more because it's suited right out of the case with everything you need. And once again, this shows up at the range as a fine handgun that just gets the job done. This handgun just brings a smile to my face. It's the same size as a Glock 17, much like the other two I just showed, the four and a half inch barrel. But this is the Bull Armory FS Axe Hatchet. And I love this handgun. It is everything that... Glock wants to be that the aftermarket support may allow Glock to be, but once again, out of the case, MSRP on this is 620 bucks. Look at that undercut there. Look at that grip texturing. They have the same mags, but these are actually made by Bull Armory. I don't know if you can see that. It says Bull right there. Bull Armory mags. Look at those dimples all throughout the slide, even on the top strap. 
just uh, easy functioning handgun, optic ready, RM, RMR footprint with a direct mount. You don't need the plates. It's got an aluminum trigger that breaks right around four pounds. Incredible. Right there with the reset. You look at the, the cut right there, that's functional, well, possibly a little bit, but a little nicer look aesthetically. It has the extension there, the extension with the magazine release. Incredible handgun, shoots like a dream. It is 620 bucks MSRP. It's less expensive than a Glock, but yet it's a great handgun and easier to use in my opinion. The, the grip texturing is so nice. You don't have to change a thing. People stipple their Glocks. I don't know why. You can get a handgun like this and get everything you want that is better suited, more user-friendly, easier to operate, and functional features that modern shooters love. Here we have the Shadow Systems XR920P. I'm not going to say it shoots better because I haven't shot this yet. I will be doing that shortly. But I will say... For being a feature-rich handgun, it sure does offer a lot more than the Glock 17. Now, it's priced more, but it does have a comp on there, a brass-coated barrel that is fluted, and that comp is not to be taken lightly. It comes optic-ready with a multiple-footprint pattern there that allows multiple footprints for whatever your favorite optic is. I just installed this. It has steel sights a tritium front dot, excellent grip texturing, love the trigger, once again a flat face trigger, no need to run to the aftermarket for this with a very nice reset right there. It's, it's a phenomenal handgun, I, I'll learn more about it when I take it to the range, I'm acknowledging that. I've shot the Glock 17 more than I could even remember. So I know all about the Glock 17, but in terms of features, this thing, outperforms the Glock, but it costs more. So maybe that's a wash, but I wanted to feature this as another alternative to a Glock 17 that I think is just better. So there you have it. Am I wrong? Am I right? Go ahead and give me your favorite Glock 17 alternative and we'll keep this conversation going. I have respect for the Glock 17, but I have to admit it has been surpassed by so many other handguns for right around the same cost. Pretty hard to argue that point. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.